Learn with us while we take a look at the new updated YouTube app. We're messing around with the new updated YouTube app inside Google Plus Hangouts. So in the upper portion, I'm going to click where it says, whoops, YouTube, click on that. It'll either pop up and give you this little warning if you're just adding it to your Hangout, or you may just not see it and go right into the YouTube thing. So a couple things to notice. Everyone sees the same video that's being played in the playlist, so adding and skipping videos will affect everyone. So just realize it's like everyone has their own remote control. So it could be fun, or it could be a little annoying. It just depends on the people that are in the Hangout. Uh, when you're searching, though, second point, when you're searching, only you see the search queries and the results when you're looking for videos. So here we go. Let's click on the OK button and take a quick look. The left portion here, if you're just starting out, has no videos in it, so there's nothing there. But on the right portion is where we can add videos to the playlist. So we're going to click on that. And if you know the name of the video you want to find, um, just go ahead and type it in, the title. If you happen to have the URL, you can paste that URL right in there like it says. And that's probably the easiest way to get it. But I happen to know the name of something I'm looking for. So I'm going to look for doggone brilliant. There it is. First one on the top of the list because I remembered the name exactly the way I needed it to. Or it's got good search results or who knows what. So there's a picture of the dog. There's items on the right side where you can click the green arrow or the green plus and that'll add it to your playlist. And it automatically starts to play, just so you know. The second you add it in, it's going to play. But if we're assembling a playlist for others to see once they add come into the uh, Hangout, that's one way to do it. It's just you can get this stuff set up ahead of time. So that's what I'm doing here. If I decide, you know, I don't want that in the playlist, I can hit the red X. Or I can add some other ones that are similar in titles. Uh, I'm going to look for another one. Let's delete this. And talk about one of the classics, how Google Plus has changed search. Do I spell that right? Yep. Then we'll click the search. And again, first item on the list. It's not always going to be that way. You might have to scroll through the list to find the particulars that you're looking for. But in this case, it worked out. So that's the one I want to add to it. So I'm going to hit the plus. And realize it's going to start playing. Note here on the left. I'm going to click and hold that green button, and it mutes it slightly, but it continues to talk. Stuff to share with you about Google. If I hit the pause button, then it actually goes away, so or stops playing. So we've got this push to talk green button that just remember push means push and hold. Don't just push once, but you have to hold it if you're wanting to talk over the video while it's playing. So let's say we're done searching our videos for now. We've added what we needed to our playlist. I'm going to slide this over just a little so you can see it a little better on screen. Increase the size. Oh, I guess it really fills up the screen no matter what. So there it is. We've got a couple of videos. We can do a couple of things to the videos on the playlist. We can rearrange them. So right now the doggone brilliant short one is the very first one. If I want to click on it and drag it down. All right. There we go. So it says that I've moved it. That's sort of alerting people that are in the Hangout that some movement happened. So there it is. Now the top one is the long one and the shorter one is the next one. So while we're playing, if we wanted to, we could take the one that's currently highlighted and that's currently available to be played. We can play it and then click on this little icon just below the Google Plus logo that lets you jump or skip to the next video in a playlist. So let's give that a try. So we hit the play button. Plus and Google search has a dog that's now we hit the fast forward, jumps forward to the next video. So it is possible that someone can jump around and just move around. And if there's five people in the Hangout, if everybody's clicking on the arrows at the same time, who knows what's going to happen. But maybe that's why they call it a Hangout Party with your video. So I'm going to invite some other people in a moment to the Hangout. And so we can see how what they add affects things. So I'll be right back. That's all right. So anyways, Dana's got the ability to see... Um, what I've already added in the playlists. And if she wants, go ahead, Dana, click where it says add that blue button, right? There we go, the best one ever. All right, so Dana has found her favorite video on knitting. Fantastic. So um, why don't you say you're done in the upper right corner?
It's important to note here that they can't hear me because I'm not pressing and holding the green button. I'm currently muted. That's now I can hear you when you click and hold that green button. I can't hear you at all. Once I had bad video, you were muted. Okay, that's great to know. Why don't you do? <laughs> all right, I'm going to click on the YouTube thing, get it up to the front, so I can interrupt what's going on. So Dana, can you hear me now? Go ahead and press and hold your green button. So let's see if you can talk back. Okay, so you have to click and hold the green button to let people talk over the video. That's an important factor of what's going on here. So Dana's been able to add a video that's about knitting, and that's great, isn't it? Having multiple people in a hangout, you're going to get all kinds of videos added to the playlist. So I'm going to pause the video, and I can pause it, and it tells you right up here that I paused it, and in case Dana's going to pause the video, she can pause it. So think of it this way. We've got two people in the Hangout right now, and they are both having the remote control. So if you have problems at home fighting over the remote control, guess what? It's going to get even more fun inside a Hangout with five people that everybody's got the remote control. So just realize that's part of the game. So Dana, in the upper left portion of your screen, can you click the screen share button? That'll, get, that'll uh, bring you back to you. Okay, so there you are now on the bottom. And if you want and you don't want to see the video as the primary thing, you can click where it says YouTube and that'll bring back to focus the two people or three people or whatever that are inside the Hangout. Hi, Dana. Hi. So do you see the YouTube video interface at all right now? Okay, so I'm going to click YouTube and now it's back and we can see the video. Do you see the video now? Ah, so it looks like everybody that wants to see the videos has to click YouTube. So go ahead and do that. Okay, so the ultimate goal here is if we're trying to watch the YouTube playlist, you're going to have to click on it. Everybody that wants to watch it has to click on the YouTube app button up there on the top. All right, so now we've got our playlist on the right. We've got our videos. If we want to, we can click on the upper right area where it says Save Playlist. And that'll allow you to save the listing of all the different videos that you're watching in this particular Hangout. So you might get a nice hodgepodge of videos, or it might be real important that you know exactly what everybody was looking at when they were in the Hangout. And so that's one reason why you might want to save the playlist. That could be saved as a public playlist so everybody can find it, or you can keep it private so it's just you and the other people that maybe were part of the Hangout can share that. So I'm going to cancel for now. And add as an added note that you do see the profile pic of the person who added the videos to the playlist. So you'll see Ronnie's up top and Dana's down on the bottom. So there you have it. That's been messing around with the new YouTube app inside the Hangouts of Google+. If you want to learn more stuff about Google+, and video, and all that stuff, go ahead and find me, Ronnie Benser, on Google+. Or you can find me as the furry friend, Victor, the video SEO hound, which is video leads online and we've got a youtube channel also named video leads online where you can see victor the video seo hound and if you found this video to be helpful at all please give us a thumbs up a plus one share it comment all kinds of neat stuff and let your friends know about it